Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. I'm harvesting dill today, so I wanted to show you how to do that. I have quite a few that I've probably left go a little too far, but I'll show you what to do with the tops of them. So let's get started. This is our dill, and you can see some of these are starting to flower. And to keep them growing, we need to cut the tops of these flowers off. And what I what I will do is give those to our chickens. Now, if you let these go to seed, they will have they will produce this beautiful flower head. And then as they dry up, you'll get these little tiny, tiny seeds that you can save to replant dill for the next time. But we're not at that point yet. So we're gonna cut these back and I'm gonna show you how to harvest it without killing your plant. When you harvest dill, there are a couple parts. I'm sorry about the weeds here. I know I have to weed, it's bad. Um, this stalk here, this is your main stem, right here, this is your main stem that goes the whole way up. Each individual place like this is called a junction. Now, whenever you are pruning your dill and cutting it back to dry it or use it, you want to keep at least a third of this plant because if not, it's gonna completely die. So what you're gonna need is either a good pair of scissors or if you have fingernails, you can pinch them off. But we're gonna keep the main stem and then just cut under these junctions right here, like that, cut under those junctions. Then we'll tie them up and then we'll hang them upside down to dry. So I'll show you what that looks like when we're done. It's pretty hard to film and cut dill at the same time, so I'm sorry I wasn't able to do that for you. But you can see I have a pretty large basket of dill cut. And I left a good bit of my plant still there so that it can continue to grow and we can continue to harvest it. But make sure that you cut the tops off if you see the flowers, because if it does flower, then it's gonna bolt and it will die. So just make sure that, you know, if you wanna continue your harvest to cut the flowers off the tops once you see them start. Once you have harvested the amount of dill that you want, you wanna rinse these off and wash them really well. In my window, I have two hooks that I run a bungee cord on. Now my bungee cord isn't tight, so it's not gonna pull these hooks out. But what I'm gonna do is tie these dill plants together and then hang them upside down on this bungee cord. This is an easy trick for how to hang and dry your dill. Get as much as you want to hang in a bunch. I don't use that many because it needs to have airflow around the dill for it to dry properly and not get moldy or mildewy. So take your ends, and I save rubber bands from our newspapers. And you're gonna need a clothespin. So what you wanna do is wrap this around the end several times okay and then once you have a loop there open your clothes pin up and stick it through that loop and there you go and then you can just hang your clothes pin on whatever line or device that you're gonna hang it off of and for us it's the bungee cord I know the lighting is dark in here but there you have all of the dill that we harvested today hanging up to dry. And this is by far the easiest method and most cost effective because you're not using electricity to operate a dehydrator. And this works just as efficient as a dehydrator does. Um, your dill is going to dry nicely and then once it is dry then you can store it in an airtight container. You can use it for canning or for just eating and using in recipes. So thank you so much for joining us today and have a great day.